This is Ken Leone, National Sales Manager here at Heroics, and this is a tutorial of the Longitude Virtualization add-on. So I've logged in as a, a fully privileged user, and today I'll focus mainly on the capabilities associated with the Longitude Virtualization add-on. So the first thing I want to do is tell Longitude to monitor my virtual infrastructure, and for that, I'll click on the Monitoring tab and then the Monitor button. Uh, today we'll focus mainly on showing you how to monitor uh, a VMware related infrastructure. You can see here that Longitude exposed to me all the applications that this instance of Longitude is able to monitor. So, you know, we can see Hyper-V in the equation as well. Uh, we're going to focus mainly on VMware and all we need to do here is give Longitude our vCenter console. So I already have it in my list here. So we'll pick vCenter test.net. I'll give Longitude credentials to log into vCenter and click on monitor and that's all I need to do. Uh, once I do that, Longitude will automatically discover all the hosts, the VMs, the resource pools, the data stores, etc. It'll start using a, a built-in knowledge base to um, alert me to what's going on and also to archive critical performance metrics for both reporting and capacity planning. Uh, so the dashboard section is going to provide us with a visual representation of what's going on. Um, and it also gives us the ability to configure uh, Longitude's behavior. And then we'll segue over to reports. And in, it's in the report section of Longitude where we can do what I call standard performance reporting, but also capacity planning as well. So let's segue over to the dashboard. And uh, within the dashboard, you have the ability by clicking on status to get a, a visual representation with what are called widgets to see what's going on. By clicking on events, we get a little bit more clinical, if you will, and a little bit more detail. And then uh, we can also configure Longitude's behavior. Uh, for example, set up Longitude to alert us of potential problems via things like email or SMS, or maybe even to run a script in response to a problem. So uh, these dashboards are pre-configured in Longitude. Uh, you can create your own, or you can modify existing ones. Um, I'm just going to click on the VMware dashboard here, and what I can see quickly is where my problems are. So I can see, for example, that I have a problem related to CPU. Uh, this instance of Longitude's monitoring 22 VMs, 21 are OK, and I can see by clicking on the little red pie here that Andorra is at almost 80% CPU usage. So again, this provides me with a really quick picture. This is a real-time display. It's constantly being updated. Uh, both uh, this display here as well as events are constantly being updated and can again show up on a flat panel or whatever. When I click on events, this is a, a little bit more clinical. I, I get a little bit more historical context of what's going on. Um, and you can see here I've specifically targeted VMware only related issues. And I can see, for example, here that this problem has happened both at uh, 330 and 346. And I can see uh, that my CPU usage is at 79.64%. Okay, uh, here I get a little bit more detail on my data store issues, and you can see if I were to click here, it's happened a whole bunch of times, uh, 48 times in the, in, in the most recent um, period. Okay, so if I click on this event, for example, and I see it's at 79.83%, I may not be looking at this display, so I can configure Longitude to basically hunt me down and alert me. So I'm going to click on Configure. And what you see here on the left pane is the current set of applications and infrastructure components that this instance of Longitude is monitoring. So Active Directory, DHCP, etc. Longitude recognized that that event was a VMware-related issue, and it was an issue related to VM CPU busy. Uh, notice here on the right pane I have actions. I have two actions. I have the ability, I have an action one and action two, and I, I can obviously add more actions if I'd like. Action one says um, any virtual machine that has a CPU problem, what I'd like Longitude to do is email on call at heroics.com and then cool off for uh, an hour. I also have a second action. Notice I can target specific VMs, so I have a lot of granularity. Um, I can also escalate based on persistence. So this is saying, listen, if, if Andorra is at a high uh, usage for three consecutive uh, intervals of time, what I'd like Longitude to do is instead of emailing me, I want it to text my, um, my phone. So I'll get an SMS text and then cool off for about an hour. 
I also have the ability to alter a longitude's uh, knowledge base, if you will. So if I click on thresholds, what you'll see here is by default, any VM, that's the global value, if any VM hits 80%, that's going to cause longitude to generate an event and show me what's going on in the status dashboard. But notice here for Andorra, I said, listen, if it's at 75%, I want to override the knowledge base just for Andorra. I want you to, to, to uh, let me know that you have a problem. Okay, so we've showed you how you can get alerts from Longitude, how you can get a visual uh, representation of what's going on, um, but we also want some historical context. So I'll click on report. Like any good report writer, Longitude maintains uh, at least a year's worth of data. You can, you can pick the date and time range. Um, my main concern is we'll report on vcenter.test.net here, and I want to see what my CPU VM CPU usage is. Notice I have all kinds of reports across the top here. And if I wanted to look specifically at Andorra, I can click on Andorra here and I can see that it was okay and then now it's it's spiked. So it's up around 79% and everything is date and, um, and time stamped up there. Okay. Uh, like any good reporting engine, you can schedule. And again, this is covered in a, um, in a longitude overview video, but you can schedule your reports. They can be emailed to you. They can be published in the portal, etc. So this is providing me with some um, some historical context. I also have the ability to perform capacity planning with longitude. So this pane here is showing us all the existing reports that are available to us, and we, we're doing some standard reporting. Let's do some capacity planning. So here I have my test environment. I have a host with eight VMs, and here's the VMs, and I'll just stick with today right now for uh, data, and I can see that I have 18 gig of CPU available to me, and this, this below is the total footprint of all the VMs on this host. Okay, so let's take the example of maybe wanting to add more VMs. So I have a scenario here called Scenario 1. You can have multiple scenarios, and you can think of this as a sandbox of sorts. Notice here that it looks exactly the same as above. So let's collapse this for a moment. And what I could do is I could say, okay, what would happen if I were to add, I don't know, 10 more instances of a VM that looks like the VM called Croatia? What's that going to look like? And I can see here when I did that, I don't have enough CPU to push it. So I have a couple of choices. I can modify the um, attribute of the host and say I want to double up on the CPU. Or what I could do is I could say I want to add another host. So I'm just going to take a host that looks just like this one. And then what I could do is maybe take these VMs and move them over to the other host. And let's see what that looks like. So this would be how you, for example, could replicate a vMotion failover or something like that. So you can try out all these different scenarios. That concludes the... Um, the quick walkthrough of the Longitude Virtualization add-on. To get more information about Longitude or to download a no-obligation copy, feel free to visit us at heroics.com. And for additional questions, you're welcome to email me as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.